work as a director of photography and a gaffer, uh, mostly in Sydney. It's kind of, uh, it's been something I've always wanted to do. You know, like from when I was like six or seven, I was already asking my mum about uh, like, who does this in movies? You know, like I've already always been passionate about movies. Well, actually for me, it, it's about connecting to my deepest purpose. Um, and I do that through telling stories, generally folk tales. Um, I began weaving a number of years ago. I love to weave and now I'm using words and weaving words together. I was, uh, I was always told that like that's a really cool dream but it's impossible to get any work doing it. Um, and so when I left school I, uh, I went into home theatres and I installed home theatres for a while because like, movies are my passion. I thought well if I can't get into filmmaking I'm just going to help other people watch films. For me though a story has to be, it has to really uh, connect. Um, I have to love the story uh, otherwise it doesn't work. And I don't like to work to a script at all. I was a bit nervous, of course, you know, walking to a, and there's, walking into a room and seeing some people. But, um, but it was really cool, everyone's really nice, and um, I got introduced to a storyteller and I thought that's it, I'm, that's who I'm with, for sure, you know, like film stories. For me, it's, it's really about bringing storytelling and how, um, how vital that is and how, not so much how we've lost that, but how we can reconnect to that again, yeah. Just to make something that I'm proud of at the end of the day, and something that other people like, you know, like that's why I do anything, you know, that's why I create anything, because I just hope that there's going to be people out there that like it. It's, it's difficult as a creative to get paid for your work, um, and if the council can come on board, and especially with stuff like this, it could be uh, it could be a real boon for the Central Coast. The brief was uh, cap to capture a story of the street that speaks to the soul. Initially, I didn't have a clue where to go with that. Um, Daniel suggested maybe we did a story, and he filmed that. And Megan and I tossed around some ideas about that. She's a storyteller. And I, I wanted, um, I just wanted to record one of her stories for her to keep. And I felt, I felt it was still um, keeping with the brief because we did it on the street, you know. So I just, uh, I just did it kind of, just did it kind of that way. I really enjoyed the challenge of, of coming up with something. Yeah, having to, uh, being given something and then having to find a fit. Um, Although that was challenging, that was still really enjoyable. I, I really enjoyed being given a, given a brief. I didn't think I would, you know, um, but, uh, but it was really nice having someone kind of take the, take the work out of like what my job was going to be, basically. Um, yeah, I had, to, I had to kind of work out exactly what I was going to do, but uh, I probably spent two or three days on the colour grade alone editing. I edited, edited a whole piece didn't like it, edited it again, totally different, um, sent them both through to Megan, she liked the first one, so I was like, oh, now I've got to go back and uh, make sure that's totally finished and totally clean, and then colour grade that, because I'd only colour graded the second one. Art to me is not necessarily about how well it's received, um, but it's a bit more, for me, it's more about that process that of engagement, uh, connecting, with self. Um, you, can, you can study a painting, you can study a photo, you can, like, everyone watches movies, Mo movies are art, and it's just two hours of escapism for everyone, you know. For me, art's just escapism. Good man.